<laughs> whatever, whatever. All right, three, <laughs> two, one. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Uh, I don't know which one this is. I got lost because uh, I've been playing the walkthrough. I think it's like 23, maybe? Anyways. 23? Oh. Yeah, 23. Yeah, right, we, we've been... I've been missing a lot. You've been missing a lot. We've been doing <laughs> them during the day with uh, me and Sid. Shut up, I'm at work. Yeah, I know. That's that's the Jeez. hard part because you're, uh, you're only here like for only a couple hours. But anyways, so uh, have you... Uh, what 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 do you think of uh, what do you think of Uncharted? Yeah, because I'm playing it right now. I just want to get your opinion. I thought Ooh. it was awesome. The, you're talking about DLC. Uh DLC, DLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the actual uh, the game Uncharted, like the multiple series. It was pretty good, but uh, but not as good as. No, no, no! It's amazing, actually. So, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Sorry, no. no, I was, I was just thinking. I was thinking about the DLC. I'm like, that's pretty good. Like, my mind was doing two things at once. But um, yeah, the the actual story is like amazing. But um, DLC is pretty good. I like it. It's like they were. I really thought they were gonna kind of go a little bit harder, you know, since it's the last one. Uh, I think they did. The 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 main story one. Or are you talking about the DLC? The DLC, the, the DLC. No, the main story was sick. Uh, no, I think the DLC was awesome. You know, it, was, it was good. It was good, but I felt it was like they I, were I, trying to really ham it up. There were a couple moments there where I was like, wow, the, the music is going like super emotional. And like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you're trying to make but this these characters, super... These characters a lot of people care about. For sure. I guess, yeah. Did you find it predictable at all? I know you don't You don't really like to like guess the games, eh? No. Guess the story. I just... Uh... Allow it to take me where it needs to take me. Oh, I see, I see. I, uh, I no, no, no. I sometimes can, but I like I don't say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. I, I just didn't call the. Uh, I mean, I called the, um, the little trinket that she had in the beginning. I was like, that's definitely a key. Like, there's no way they're gonna like yeah, give her this yeah, trinket, yeah. you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was watching this Joe Rogan podcast about like uh, mushrooms, and um, they were saying how like we can like uh, heal. Uh, it, it's like primarily that we are mushrooms that like we come from mushrooms and like we can we can heal like a lot of uh, neurological things like I'm talking about like both mushrooms and like magic mushrooms mm-hmm. but like he was saying that like with um, so he had a speech impediment and then he took like a bunch of he's a respected scientist like I don't I don't really know who he is Name, right. some guy but like um, he's very respected and uh, he cured his own uh, speech problem like his stuttering because like he ate a bunch of mushrooms and he just like told himself like uh, you will not stutter anymore mm-hmm. something like that you know what I mean and like in that you like rewired your neural pathway into like um, into like uh, a different mode you know what I mean You're right and you ever see those like um, the zombie mushrooms nope no no you you showed me it. I did yeah, yeah the zombie mushroom from freaking I don't remember this um <laughs> the it uh Oh man, it's the one from uh, Uncharted. No, not Uncharted. Uh, Last of Us. Cordyceps. Oh, he's the Cordyceps. Cordyceps. <laughs> yeah, the Cordyceps mushroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I was like, what? Mushrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's the Cordyceps mushroom. Okay. Yeah, no, but those are mushrooms. Cordyceps is a mushroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. but it's like that's not. I, you I didn't. Know, I, I didn't mind it. Really, jumped like, it. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> but yeah, so so um, Cordyceps mushrooms. Because they're not really zombies; they're dead. Right, right, right. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. so uh, so. Uh, you know how it like it takes the mind of the the ant and it makes it like climb to the top and then it would like explode and then yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean uh, well the thing will grow at the head yeah exactly and then once you reach its certain peak it'll like spread the the pollen ish stuff right exactly exactly and it's like uh, the mushroom would take control of the ant so the ant would think it's supposed to be doing that right mm-hmm. so like it's interesting when you when you think about it because like he was saying that. Uh, mushrooms can rewire the neural pathway. And he said that we come from mushrooms. Like it's mushrooms, like a fungi, right? And like because we came from bacteria, we came essentially from mushrooms, mm-hmm. right? And like um, it's interesting if you think about it. It's like maybe they are totally like messing with our brains. As like because you know the stone ape theory. Like there was like a, a uh, an ape and then they're eating lots of magic mushrooms and then their brain size grew it like doubled because of like the constant like consciousness expanding right. um, drugs right mm-hmm. uh, so like what if what if we are being like controlled by freaking a mushroom yeah you know what I mean like you don't really you don't really know you don't but when you think about it like that it's like 
were not even that's why the free will thing <laughs> yeah exactly 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 and and it made me think of like like how how weird is it that we think we're so special but maybe the mushrooms like okay i'm gonna create this thing called a human so that we can go interplanetary now you know what i mean we might just be like the arm of a species that we don't even think about we, we call it technology right like i've heard that before like we are the we are the um the sex organs of technology right like through us technology gets born Mm-hmm. Right, but maybe what if like the mushroom was thinking about that the whole time? It's like okay, I want to leave this planet, but the only way to leave it is by creating a thing called a human. You know, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna fill its mind with like these crazy like yeah. you know what I mean? Like we could essentially just be an arm of a mushroom, like some fungi. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Eh? They uh, they also uh, so you know like when you're when you see like a field. A field, uh, yeah. like a field, yeah. like there's like a forest and then there's a field. Okay. Usually, what happens is like a, a specific type of mushroom will kill a bunch of the trees in that area, and then that tree, those trees will actually thirty percent will turn into water. So like the mushrooms, like just like the mushrooms, like the big curator of life. Yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah. You, like we we think of ourselves as like these um, these people that are like like super important and like we know what's going on and like we're the masters of our domain but it's like Mm -hmm. we very well could just be like another piece of nature you know well we are another piece of nature yeah um i don't know (laughs) yeah oh it is pretty crazy though but i think mushrooms are always they all show when something dies or something yeah exactly every what was it it's it's like the recycling thing of the for yeah, ex- exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's why it, that got me thinking about the meadows, right? When it's like, oh, the trees, uh, 30% of the tree will become water. I was like, oh, maybe that's their job. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, we we don't really, like... No, I mean, I think so. I think the nature technically is sort of supposed to be in balance, right? So everything has a, everything has a purpose. Right, for sure, for sure. And it's like, uh, it's like, it's all it's all about a transformation. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what's crazy to think about is like we're actually made up of bacteria, but we don't even think about it. like fungi is bacteria. Yeah. Right. And essentially, we have gut bacteria, we got skin bacteria. You know, I mean, one of mm-hmm. these bacteria gets out of whack, and then we we get sick. You know. Yeah. 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 We're just like a super highway, or like a like a freaking. Now that we're playing this Overwatch, it's like that robot character. Like we're just the robot to the freaking bacteria that's actually driving us. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. That's the illusion, right? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of control. For sure, for sure. Uh, what do you think of the... Because, uh, like, as we're playing Uncharted, I noticed that they're, like, they're talking about a lot of, like, historical, mythical lore and stuff, right? Yeah. And, like, it's interesting to, like, um, to see the constant... Like, the, the constant um, mm-hmm. comparisons of different religions... You know, I remember like before I was telling you about like how the one lion thing. They're like, oh, this Hindu lore person killed the lion, right? Yeah. And then like, if you look at it, that's also Hercules, right? Greek and Indians, they have like a history or something, right? Greek and Hindu. Greek and Hindu, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they they, they do, right? Yeah, they all they. All, uh, what the stuff that I've seen is where they, um, like for language wise. There's a lot of similarities in the language too. Some really? words and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So like mother, mother, and mother. There's like the three oldest languages: Latin, um, Greek, and Sanskrit. And they say that the reason for them being very similar is there's another origin source where they come from. Oh, which is uh, I heard of this word. Uh, it's the, I, I yeah. There's like one general language, right? Well, we don't know that language, but they assume. There's uh, a name though for it, right? Well, they're from the particular race of Aryans. Aryans. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the supposed ones that spread, spread out. Uh huh. Something that happened in their land where they used to be, so they spread out and. Is, uh, is Aryans like the Sumerians? Is that a completely different thing? I have no clue. Okay, okay. So, but yeah, continue. You're saying. Uh, but like, yeah, there's a lot of evidence of Aryans, but there's not enough. You don't know too much about those guys. Larians. Larians. Yeah, I was in my uh, historical like book, um, a brief history of the world or something like that. Uh, I was like, uh, I forgot the the title, but it's if you go like uh, on my fire dot com, check out books. It'll be there. It's my top five. Um, 
it's it's like they talked about how like the Aryans came into India and they're they're the ones who started like Hinduism. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like well, yeah, like it's it's not like they start. They influenced they, it. They influenced what yeah. was um, locally there too, uh-huh. and added other things, right? Right, right, right for sure, for sure. But it, what was it, it would make sense to think that if they influenced it, that their uh, re- like religious beliefs, their like myths would be similar. Yeah, so that's why, that's why it's similar between Greeks uh, and and Hindus, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, another good example mythologies. that that they're talking about was. Uh, one of the sons of Shiva, uh, I believe is the son of Shiva, is the god of war. Like, they, they're like, oh, that's the god of war in the video game. And I was like, wait, god of war? That's also a Greek mythology thing. Yeah, I don't remember particulars. <laughs> it's been a while. About who the people are? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't remember particularly. From the game, too, like, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you grew up with this stuff, so... Yeah, but some of it's new too. There's there's so much. Uh, oh, there's adding stuff so now. So <laughs> it's it's not no no it's not that they're adding stuff. Uh huh. It's that there's so much story that I don't know everything. Oh okay okay. There's and it's not like there's one version of Shiva let's say right. Right right right. There's different depictions of them. There's different slightly changes in stories too. Right, I got you. Because it's it's not like everyone follows one idea. Right right right. Because right, right. India was made up of like bunch of tribes and everything so many different kinds of people but there's there's a unified um belief no uh no but it's like if there's even slight changes so like some places ganesha has got two hands some places got four hands there's reasons for those changes but it's like uh even language right like right right, like like uh, the person on the next state in india can't speak uh, can't communicate together the only way they can is through english Actually, oh, that's pretty interesting. That's like, so they're trying to make a like. I mean, they've they've been doing it for a while. They do have uh, like, a like a standard, language. yeah, like standard language for all of India, but not everyone can speak it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like um, in the Philippines, they have something similar where like uh, each province has got their own language, but then they have like a universal like one called Tagalog, mm-hmm. which is like the the one that they're trying to make like everyone has to know same with english yeah, yeah that's what the state's trying to do right so, yeah exactly or the country not uh, state the state what i mean is the country oh okay i got you. like that particular this is terminologies gotcha. uh, yeah so so um it's interesting and like i remember you showed me the uh out of africa uh is out of africa yeah the um no you mean a great human migration yeah oh, like if, that? if you haven't seen that check it out bbc doc they always TV make, series? What? Yeah, it's a TV series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always make good dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but um, they, they trace the origin of everyone coming out of Africa. Like, science shows that. Everyone that, that left Africa. Left Africa, yeah. So, uh, so basically, anyway, Europeans, uh, Asians, <laughs> anywhere, except for the ones who stayed in Africa. For sure, yeah. You're yeah, slightly different. Hey, totally, totally. But it's it's interesting if you think about how. Uh, so I've heard this before through like Graham Hancock. If there was a catastrophic event uh, on Earth right now, who's the one race that would survive? Hunter gatherers. So maybe back then the hunter gatherers were all in Africa as well. You know, and like if if a catastrophic event happened, um, they, you know they would be the ones to spread what they know throughout mm-hmm. the rest of the world. So it makes sense that they all came from Africa, which is like a uh, hunter-gatherer. Well, I'm just making, like, hypotheses. I don't, <laughs> know that. I don't know if it's really hunter-gatherer. Like, that's what it looks like right now. So, and they're in... Like, yeah, you can say current you know, evidence shows. Current evidence shows. Uh, do you see that new thing? I sent it to you. Um, you? The uh, p- pyramids. Oh, yeah, like yeah, 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 A yeah, weird yeah. hollowing... Yeah, some using some uh, like state of the art method like, of yeah, yeah, yeah looking into it. Oh, that's crazy! They were using uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't know where you can find it. It's, it's on my Twitter. It's, 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 it's online. You'll yeah, find it's it. like it's you everywhere. Find it somewhere. Uh, so like uh, they they were showing how uh, through their technology, it was crazy because they were using VR glasses, eh? To like look through it and stuff, they had like mm-hmm. the hologram on the freaking oh, yeah? on the table, and then they had the 3D <laughs> glasses that they were all put or like VR glasses they were all putting on. They were like taking a tour of the inside of the pyramid. Oh, that's Not even, cool. yeah, it's crazy. Like that's what I was saying. We're like a science fiction new world tech, right now. Bro. Yeah, new Whatever tech. New tech you can bring in and use it for science. For sure, for sure. But so so what they found is that there's like these uh 
these I don't want to make it sound mystical but like these like vac like these uh I don't want to say vacuums but like mm-hmm. these these places that are like hollowed out that they don't know what they are so like obviously the first thing people might think of is like oh it's a portal to another dimension bro <laughs> you know what I mean like okay we don't actually know right, it's, right, it's just right. a hollowing out like yeah, yeah maybe yeah. it is a portal I don't know. You know. So what does that mean? There's like a room there, or I think so. Like there's like a space that there's a void. That's what it's called. It's a void, there's not a, void, a vacuum. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there's like a void there. So like they don't know what that is, and they can't. They're gonna excavate it now because they don't know what it is. So like they need to find a way to get there, right? They exactly. Don't, they yeah. don't know if they can. Well, I mean, do they could bomb it? But I don't think they're gonna do that. Yeah, they're not gonna do it. <laughs> but, but if you, it's it's interesting that like uh, there's like a void there, and like. There's no obvious entryway to the void. There's no like obvious. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah. This so is it's probably like, intentionally blocked or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or it could be a teleportation pathway to another dimension. <laughs> you know, you never know. They're like Stargate and stuff. Star- Stargate. You ever hear of the? Um, <laughs> this one was tripping me out. Like I saw it on Spirit Science. If you want to YouTube Spirit Science, like go ahead, check it out. But um, I, he was like, when I was on this whole like mystical path, trying to figure out all these like different religions, like what's going on with the world, I, mm-hmm. I stumbled upon uh, spirit science, and like he was saying how like the temples are a gateway to, they were created by the Martians, who the Mars was going down, so they created these pyramids that would allow them to teleport yeah. onto Earth. But, like, the negative people were the reptiles, and that's why we have reptilians, you know, like, they have that, like, theory, like, reptiles in, like, Washington and stuff. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's craziness. But, like, it would be, like, I'm sure that guy, whoever made that spirit science, like, I knew it. Like Zuckerberg. He's he's, he's a reptile? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You should watch the PewDiePie video. Oh, no, I haven't seen it. (laughs) But, see, yeah, that's, that's the theory. Like, the reptiles came through, through the portal as well. They became evil, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> I think I think it'd be really cool if you like find out the void, and it'd be really cool if it was like a, a city. You know what I mean? Like it was like a a fortress type of city because a triangle is the only thing that in nature that's like able to sustain itself despite any catastrophe. It's like the perfect uh, structure, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so like, why not create a a pyramid structure that's actually like a fortified temple, uh, fortified city, right? You know, in like, why would it be so big? Why couldn't it have like air ducts? Well, not air ducts, but like, there's like secret passageways. That yeah, we go, don't like, know. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's cool that we found that there's something there, like the void. We should like get to it for sure. Yeah. Um, but it's what all it just is, speculation. We don't know yet. Yeah, true, true, true. Until the scientists, until the people smarter than us tell us what's going on. <laughs> like, I was tripping me out because like, how are they using these? Sometimes, VR tech? yeah, but sometimes you know. We wouldn't have known this until we have this tech. True, yeah, for sure. Right. For sure. So whatever ideas we had before could be wrong. That's true. Yeah, yeah. And Man, I need to change. I, I, I really prescribe to like uh, the ancient civilization theory only because it makes me realize more and more like, like it, it like fortifies that opinion that like you are not as important as you seem. You know. Oh uh, wait, what? What is this ancient? So what is that? Oh, like, that no, 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 like, 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 uh, like how uh, how different civilizations around, like how the if there's a catastrophe and then like people from Africa, like that that's what Atlantis they believe it is. Okay. You know, like those are the ancient peoples that had like knowledge and stuff that spread throughout. Oh, the world. so you're saying uh, that? How, how did that relate to what you said? Where we oh, are no, no, not that. Imp- not uh, important like because what? because uh, like if the uh, fortified city is real from a uh, ancient city, it would be cool if it was real because then it shows you that we've done all this before. So it's like why are you guys stressing now? Like, oh yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're freaking just do it again. Like if uh, asteroid hits, you know, yeah, we make it all uh, over. We think selfishly, so yeah, that's true. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that because that's also what propagates the species. It's also very true. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, do you, uh, would you would you have children? Like, I've, I noticed that there's like I don't know. Yeah, right. All right that's, that's, that's the automatic. Know. That's the automatic. I don't know. Right. So, like, it's interesting because like we have. That's so funny. It is totally my catchphrase. It's interesting because <laughs> everything's interesting. <laughs> just the like, world's interesting. Uh, so it is quite. Everything is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, so it, it, it's interesting to think that like millennials nowadays are like starting to not want to propagate there's our species you know well 
the North, like Westernization, Western. No, no, even in China. No, even in China, they're talking about that. I think it's China and Japan. Mm-hmm. Like, there's just too many people, so that the millennials of China now they're just like, I don't want to have kids. Uh, it's, it could it's be like just China. So many. Well, what? It China. could be just because they had to just. Ch- I think they had to change their. No, no, um, uh, no, 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 and oh, the the one one. Yeah, didn't one they change their one child policy? Like they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So nobody was getting making kids. Oh, or, so no, no, not that they were making kids. It's just that when you have the one child policy, everybody wants a boy. Everybody wants a boy. Yeah, yeah. And then, then you have a. Uh, get a bunch of dudes. Yeah, then there's like, oh, we can't propagate the species. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of boys, have you heard about that uh, Kevin Spacey thing? <laughs> you like that segue? No. Oh, what? no? What, Kevin Spacey? Oh, oh, oh Kevin Spacey. Yeah. I was like, what's thinking of? Who the hell is Kevin Spacey? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's craziness, that. Yeah, well, whatever, yeah. man. People are crazy. Yeah, people cray cray. That's craziness. But they... Um, <laughs> Uh, actually, let's talk about this, yo. Okay. The scandal in Hollywood. Because I've been thinking about this. <laughs> I, I, I watched the... Um, you know, like, you ever watch this, like, you go down a rabbit hole, you watch that Illuminati stuff mm-hmm. on YouTube, you're just like, oh, man, like, the world's crazy. <laughs> so, like, I was watching uh, Dave Chappelle, his <laughs> his interview. Not recently, like, before. Okay. His interview about, like, uh, he was on Oprah, and he's saying, like, oh, man, the sex parties are crazy. You know, like, oh, these people are nuts. There's, like, a lot of, like pedophilia and stuff and then and then um no uh alex jones talked about that he's like oh there's like a lot of pedophilia in like hollywood and a lot of pedophilia in the government and stuff right Mm -hmm. and then when you get and you're like thinking like no it's not real like you're just going off like this is so next level but was it pedophilia though uh or that that, i think it was the boys yeah look kevin spacey was but yeah i don't think the whole other stuff was no no no, uh uh, which one you're talking about uh like all the other guys alex jones no no I, i know he talked about it but like the only evidence is Kevin Spacey. Then. No, no, for sure, for sure. No, uh, no, of okay. course, of course. But I'm like, it's interesting that it's like, oh, all these things are starting to come out now about like sex scandals in Hollywood. Yeah, all you at know, once. Like, I think just today was once, some yeah. stuff about Louis C.K. No, what happened to Louis C.K.? Like he's like a weirdo. I don't know if, if, if it's true. Yeah. Oh God, he's like he's such a good comedian too. Yeah, it's just we you know, you know again. It's just a show, right? It's a front. Like, yeah, for sure. Like they could be good at their job, but. Uh, we don't know what their character's like. Yeah, that's the crazy thing, man. Like, if you don't... That, that's why I gravitate towards, like, the yoga... But, see, it's a slippery slope. Like, I'm reading this book, The Soul of the Samurai, right now. And it's saying, like, a, a lot of the time people will read a lot of spiritual stuff. And then they can quote it. And then they think that they're spiritual. But, like, you will you only have the knowledge of the experience. You don't have the... No, no. So you only have the knowledge, but you don't have the experience. So you're not wise to it. You know what I mean? Right. So it's, like... it. It's... Well, one, it's important to, like understand your mind or else you can get some crazy stuff like this kevin spacey thing or <laughs> to like know that you're not know what's re- like Wait, did we know he was gay before i didn't know he was gay i, I didn't know he was you, gay. you know what's interesting like when, <laughs> when you said he was like gay i always kind of got like a gay vibe from him I, then, I didn't think of anything i just like he's kind of got that know. like effeminate voice and like effeminate way of talking <laughs> i love I thought it was just those, like those characters kevin, no, oh, well, if it's those characters, maybe I didn't, the same see, I didn't see character. interviews of them. I guess I don't know. No, no, I didn't see any interviews. But it's like if you're playing the same character, that's kind of effeminate. It's like maybe there's something to your feminine ways. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I liked him in uh, K-Pax. I haven't seen. I haven't seen K-Pax. I heard it was good though. <laughs> that was like a long time ago. It turned out to be like so. I know Anyways. that the premise is like he he believes he's an alien, right? And yeah, he's, like, yeah, trying yeah. to convince these people. Yeah, and then uh, it turns out that he's actually just psychologically gone yeah. yeah but it's like there's stuff weird stuff other happens too it's like like they're kind of like questioning both ways like how did he is he or is he not it's, you think you're still you're not really left with that but you're still questioning certain bits of it like, his does it make uh, sense in, in the story no 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 of the <laughs> i'm just kidding no, 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 yeah. the, the alien yeah of the yeah. alien you know, confused alien. You know, it's weird. I <laughs> confused. Uh, I love how it's like they're all just like like uh, suggestions, allusions to uh, to like sexual preference. What? Like you could just turn everything into like a sexual. Yeah. Speaking of sexual preferences, <laughs> um, it's funny because like uh, Brent, he always makes this joke, right? Uh, like like oh yeah, this person was talking about me. Oh, they want you. You know, or they're only doing that because, like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, You know, he always makes that joke. Like, obviously, I'm making it sound less crude than it is. Yeah, He's the funniest yeah, yeah. dude ever. But, um, yeah, so, like, 
So like he always says that. And then I turned to him like yesterday because I was hanging out with him. And I was like, I was like, you know what's funny? You always said that as a kid. Like, oh, it's just because they want you. And like, <laughs> and like, if you actually look at the yoga and stuff, that's actually our most driving energy. You know, that's what the whole like, um, like the whole tantra thing, like the Oops. sexual bits of tantra yeah. are all about like channeling your sexual energy to like use it for different means. You mm-hmm. know? And so I told him and he's like, yeah, no duh. You know, it's like, it's obvious. <laughs> like, he was right. He was right. Yeah, yeah but yeah, that's why I, I yeah. prescribe all this like philosophy, this yogic philosophy to like high, high thinking. Because mm-hmm. like you'll, you'll come to the same conclusions as these yogis if you just like sit and think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, why not? Well, I don't know. Well, it's because they have like a mystical uh, freaking persona? persona in commercialized society. So yeah, we all think about they just yeah. human. Yeah, for sure. He, uh, you know, one of the mysticism things. I don't know if I talked about this, but I, I wrote about it. It's gonna come out tomorrow. It's uh, it's about prana. You ever, you heard of prana, right? Prana? Yeah. So like, oh, like you can just increase your prana. Oh, there's prana in this. There's prana in that. Oh, I was saying. I'm trying to say prana. Piranhas? Oh, piranha. <laughs> All right, yeah, what is, what is piranha? So, uh, you don't know what that is? Uh, give me a refresher. All right, so it's like, um, well, it, it comes about in Hindu lore, so, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so it, it's basically uh, life force energy. Life force energy? They call it life, they call it life well, force What does that energy. mean? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So, like, I'm, like, studying yoga, and they're like, oh, you, you gotta you gotta increase your prana. It's like, all right, bro. <laughs> what, like, okay. what are you always talking about? What is this prana, yo? Like, give me a good example of what prana is. <laughs> yeah. So I, I had to really sit with it, and I came uh-huh. up with the, the exact modern-day contemporary answer to what prana is. So it's, yes, you could say it's life force energy, but what it really is is stimuli. Because, so... Basically, what prana does is you can have you can lose prana and you can gain prana depending on what you do. Okay. So if you breathe a lot of oxygen, <laughs> yeah. you, you gain more prana. If you mm-hmm. eat good food, you gain more prana. Mm-hmm. If you listen to good music, you gain mm-hmm. more prana. Okay. But all of that is just stimuli for the brain. Right. So it's like, okay, like you guys are like calling it this mystical thing, but it's like no, just manage your stimuli, bro. Like what is entering into your brain? But no, nobody wants to talk about that because we all want to use this freaking these crazy terms, you know. You're like, oh, oh my god, I was doing this bio for this. All right, well, well, they're not gonna listen to it. But I, I was doing this bio for this person, and like, uh, they're like, oh, make sure that you write that I'm a Reiki master. I'm like, the hell's a goddamn Reiki master, yo? <laughs> like, you tell me what a Reiki master is. I didn't say that. I was thinking, I was like, yeah, like my job is like, yeah, sure, I'll write it. Sure, <laughs> you know, I'm a Reiki master over here. You know, right, right. But like, so um, for those of you who don't know what Reiki is, it's basically you like you run your hands over top of the person's body. You don't touch them. You don't touch them. Okay. And don't you want to be channel, too sexual. No, you don't want to make it sexual, of course. Right. Um, you channel the energy from you and your your positive intentions into the person. So you you suck out the. Oh my God! Let me tell you. All right, let me tell you my <laughs> story about the the Reiki master that I. Um, I was like privy to being mm-hmm. so I like to experience things and then I get to know it for myself right so like experience is always the best teacher you do a lot of reading before so you have the knowledge and then you experience you become wise right okay so uh, I've done like a lot of study in psychology but I was like okay let me see what uh, Reiki is so this person was like oh this is the best Reiki master I've ever I've ever been to like they're amazing so I'm like okay if you say they're amazing and I trust your word let me see what they do so like I sat there I was like lying and they were just like, they had their hands over my face, my eyes were closed, their eyes were closed. And then she like, she's like, okay, we're done. And I was like, oh, what did you do? I was like, what, what, what is this magic, you know? And she's like, oh, I pulled the negativity out of your body and then I channeled it through my own and out mm-hmm. so that you are now not negative. I'm like- I wonder how that's, it could be work as a placebo. For sure, hundred. That's what I'm saying. Oh. So I, it's a hundred percent placebo. So I was like, I was like, can you tell me something about what you felt? She's like, I feel you lack confidence, but you're a confident person. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, well, first of all, the Barnum effect is playing here. So if anybody doesn't know what a Barnum effect is, you say something so general that people will gravitate towards it because they think it's like good for them. Mm-hmm. It's like you are a strong person. Who doesn't think that they're a strong person? Right. You know. So you're like, oh yeah, you're right. You you called me. Right. So I went. I was like how do you know that that's true and then she's like what do you mean i felt it and i was like yeah but you also saw me prior to this and watched me interact 
So even though you're thinking something, like how do I know that what you're telling me is not your thought and it's a reality? Right. And she's like, well, I guess you wouldn't know. And I'm like, yeah, because you're making it up, bro. Like I can look at you and be like, you need a little bit more R and R. And she'd be like, you know, I do need more R and R. I'm like, yeah, because you, your eye bags are telling me that you're tired. I didn't need <laughs> I didn't need to run my hands over your body right. to fucking figure that out. You know what I mean? <laughs> But it's crazy. It's crazy. Like honestly, if you are a Reiki master out there, please contact me. I would love to undergo this Reiki treatment because I don't believe it. But you know what the funny part is? The first thing is they're like, you have to believe it. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> no, what? That doesn't work in science. Uh, science doesn't care if you believe it or not. Yeah. Science will work. You know. That is true. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You have to believe it. You have or to believe it. It's not going to work for you. Yeah, it's a lot like religion. That's like. Uh. <laughs> right is like, for sure yeah. you, you know what the craziest thing is like so i grew up catholic and then they're like oh you have to like believe in god i'm like okay cool like there's a guy out in there heaven like looking out for me that's sweet i can believe in that oh but you also have to believe in the devil okay uh, you have to believe in the devil oh. okay like <laughs> is he real you know oh you can't question you know the second you question mm -hmm. god or the devil the devil is one you're like, what the hell? This is some <laughs> big blind faith stuff. It is blind faith. You can't see God, but he's there. But he's there. I'm like He's watching you. He's watching me. Well, Seriously. either God's a pervert or... <laughs> 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 No, no, no. But but seriously, if you look at it as like an analogy, it's like, yeah. yes, God is everywhere because God is the universe. But they don't take it like that. They take it more literal and like yeah. more fictitious. Mm -hmm. It's like a childhood story that you just don't grow up from. It's like, do you still believe in Santa Claus? It's, it's like uh, someone, it's like a parent that watches you and make sure he doesn't do anything bad. Yeah, but that parent, that, that parent is you, yo. You're thinking about... No, I know. No, I know, I know. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's how you try to like... You know. Like suck him in. Oh my god! You know what's so funny? Oh my god! <laughs> so I went to a church. My my mom was like, "Okay, like, oh, I pick you up. Like, just quickly, let's just go to church." And I was like, "All right, you know, fine, I'll go. I haven't gone in a while." So you know, you know what I realized? It's like when you're a kid, you know something's wrong. So like, if you just keep that childhood innocence, you'll be able to guide yourself through through life in a very like good manner. You know what I mean? Good what? Oh, in, in a good manner. Okay. Uh, if if you if you keep your childhood innocence, you'll be able to like guide yourself throughout life. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Because your intuition is your guide, mm -hmm. right? So like, okay. So as a child, I was like, man, this is so BS. When I went to church, I was like, even a child knows it's BS. So I look around, and all I see are people that are like half sleeping, not listening, and I'm like, how many people are doing this out of freaking habit? <laughs> and how many people actually believe what's yeah, going on? That, that, that is true. That is true. Right? Yeah. It's like. If you actually took how many people that really want to be there, really want to be there, mm -hmm. you'd probably get like 20. <laughs> like, but you know, you get the whole congregation. It's like, well, why are you all there? Oh, because I did a sin. Just, yeah, a lot of it's tradition, you know. Tradition, yeah, for sure. I think it's scapegoatism because it's like a lot of uh, – so I went to like a semi-gangster high school. And the funniest thing was like all these gangsters, even in movies too. Maybe they just watch too many movies. I don't really know. Now that I've seen Godfather, I'm like, okay, I get it. But like all these like ghetto gangsters, they were all super religious. And I was like, why are you guys super religious? It makes mm -hmm. no sense. Your actions are so opposite of religion. And I realized it's so that they could pray upon their negative actions and be forgiven. Right. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll like rob this dude. Yeah, I'll just take his money. But, you know, God will forgive me. So I'm going to just be devoted. <laughs> I'm going gonna, gonna to go Sunday and... Uh... Right, <laughs> and they act like so, like uh, so. You know, we all have to go to the same church, blah blah blah. So I go there, and it's like, wow, they're all acting like the biggest devote Catholics ever. And I look like the biggest dick because I look so tired. I'm like, ah, oh, this is so boring. But then we then we see us in school, and like yeah. these people are robbing people, and I'm there doing like my homework. You know what I mean? Like, bro, one day a week is not enough. You know, like exercise that in your whole life. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm not religious. <laughs> Do you remember yeah. having to go though? Having to go? Yeah. And how was that? Uh, I would just uh, sit and think. <laughs> that I, was yo, my meditation. For, yo, honestly, <laughs> honestly, like that is really what it was. So like there was there's a period where I couldn't not go. Sit or think or like like create stories. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it's just something to use your mind. For sure, for sure. I, I was in I was in university and like um, I had to like not like I was living at home so I'm like okay I have to go right because my mom said. So then I would go there and I would just think about my like I'd study in my head 
Like, mm-hmm. okay, so I need to know this theory of this. Like, it was like the one moment where you you were afforded some peace and quiet. Yeah. You know, before you learned meditation, you know, and then like, or not, I guess, because you don't meditate now. No. So. Uh, yeah. I was taking it in a loose term. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, 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 yeah. Meditation. Yeah. Do you, do you have any, like, uh, do you, demonic stuff in Hinduism? Like, demonic? Like, like in uh, Catholicism, they're really big on exorcisms and, like, the devil entering your body possessions i don't know you know what i mean like they're like the freaking hallmark I I, horror I, stuff you know what i mean like let's scare just, you to death. like scare you to death you know? no 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 what it is scare you into obeying to obey yeah right? it's like it's I like gotta deep, believe right right gotta yeah, believe, yeah, yeah. or else the devil's gonna enter your body and then you're gonna spit blood yeah i i remember as a kid though like i, I don't know if i told you like it's like yo i think the devil was a good guy Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! And and then the funny part is that I found out recently that that's called Gnosticism. <laughs> it's a it's a know, sect yeah. of uh, religion for people who don't know that they believe that the devil is actually the good guy, and their basis for that is the devil or the snake provided Adam and Eve with knowledge, and it was God who, who prevented that. Yeah, he tried to keep them stop that. ignorant yeah. because he wanted them to stay and f- in the Garden of Eden. Follow them. Like, like one day Adam woke up and he was like, "Bro, I'm naked." God, God, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> oh God, you know, in it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and God was like, "Shh, shh, stay, 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 <laughs> walk around with my naked people around me." And the devil's like, "Yo, you know you're naked, right?" It's like, <laughs> so it, so you know what? If you're a real devout Catholic, if you really believe in the like, Bible, you should be a nudist, mm-hmm. because like. That's what Adam and Eve were. And if you want to be as pure as them, why are you not walking around naked? Well, again, it, that we have, it's the, um, what do you call it? The original sin. And everyone has fallen because of that sin. Yeah, but why not just avoid original sin? Why not just be like, you know what? I, no, but no, that's, actually, that's part no, no, of no. the story. You are, like, you are, everyone after Adam has that. Actually, well, no. My right? Count, you're right, 100%. You're 100% correct. My counter to that is that's why we get baptized. <laughs> Because you're supposed well, the to baptize is is no 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 like, like you're supposed uh, to baptize the kid before a certain age so that if he dies at an early age he doesn't right. go to hell yeah 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 I know I know so if you've been but baptized I, uh, shouldn't you uh, walk around naked then <laughs> like what's going on you guys aren't real Catholics yo <laughs> <laughs> I don't I mean is I don't know too much of like the history of baptism did it start as soon as Christianity started actually I heard that baptism was a uh, a Hindu thing. It was a like a, a yogic practice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't made by. Actually, I read about. This I wonder if it's di- like yeah. done differently because it it will be changed, of course, in the in the use of it. No, so okay, so what 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 they would do for Catholic baptism is you'd hold them down until they were about to drown, and then you let them up so that they'd be born again. Right. Right. But what's funny is that makes complete sense because when you're about to die, DMT is released in the body. Mm-hmm. You have a spiritual experience. DMT is your like your high your imagination yeah. maker, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it's what leads to a lot of spiritual uh, things. Like people think that uh, like angels and like demons and like aliens they come, but that's just DMT being released in your brain. You're creating a story in your own head. Right. right? So uh, it makes sense that when when the baptizer like John the Baptist when he held Jesus down underwater and then they're like oh my god you're gonna drown Jesus uh. and then he comes out he's like oh I've been born again it's like yeah he probably just had like a like a crazy near death experience that like released some DMT yo. you know yeah, yeah you can even probably fool yourself into thinking that too like you're changed person. dude that's that's one of the biggest things so like one of the one of the biggest things so they talk about it in zen too so i'm like studying zen right now because it's like super uh, straight to the point like there's no mysticism in zen it's just like straight to the point it's like mm. it's y'all in your head yeah so like what people don't realize like i hear like a lot of like oh man i met my like spirit animal i met my like i i saw something you know what i mean i had this mystical experience on like on drugs and then it told me something right right and it's like and that's you telling yourself something bro like you're you're a, a psychedelic a psycho you're adding like, your perception it means mind yeah. it's all mental stuff mm-hmm. you know what I mean? you're just like unearthing your mental like your mental baggage mm-hmm. you know so like it it's like if you don't realize that then you're just 
stuck in the delusion of like mystical beings mystical beings yeah you know, like yeah. like spirits are coming because mm. you know my retort to that is like how do you know oh man spirit like how do you know that they're not there why don't you take them seriously like spiritual beings like there's a fifth dimension you know what i say what's the only thing that's making you think that there's a spiritual dimension the mind you're thinking that there's a spiritual dimension mm -hmm. so it's like what if you had no mind what if you were like playing video games right now are you thinking about spiritual dimensions no you're just <laughs> no. in the moment yeah so it's like, dude, if you just get rid of the mind, you get rid of this freaking notion of like BS. The only thing that's real is right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah. And right now you're playing some Overwatch. Mm-hmm. There is no third, fifth dimension. Actually, you know what? Maybe this is a dimension. The, the game like a, world? It's like a game. Yeah, it's the game dimension. Maybe yeah. consciousness really is shiftable because we're watching this game right now and we think it's real. Do you ever play a video game? Or no, 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 actually, a better example. You ever watch a movie and you feel something that the character feels? Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Consciousness is transferable. Mm hmm. Right? It's like we're all like, oh man, I can transcend my consciousness. Yeah, you can. You do it all the time, bro. You ever watch a good movie? You like that movie? You know what I mean? Right. Like you're shifting your consciousness into that person. Shifting your consciousness into that person. Hmm. Right? Like you're you're empathizing. Yeah. So it's like That's what makes a good story. For sure. If you can do that. For sure, yeah, for sure. You feel for the characters, you root for the characters. That's why I don't like to watch negative movies actually anymore. Oh uh, well, what? Yeah, what's no, a negative movie? Uh, I in recent. Did you watch uh To the Bone? I don't know what that is. Keanu Reeves, she has like anorexia. Oh no! It was a really good movie. Like I think you'll love it. I you'll love I, it. Okay. But friggin', I watched it and I was like, "Ooh, this is making me really sad. Oh. I can't watch this." Like I only like to watch like happy martial arts movies or something. Like something uplifting. Something where it's like, you know what? I can be better than what I am. No, I like. To, I don't like to just watch that. Yeah, I know. I just like you, you know. I got enough drama yeah. in my life, which is like zero drama. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> like, I just I like to prefer like just literally just leave myself. No, I, I I want to experience all of it. The sadness, the happiness that happens in people's lives. I guess, yeah. That's how I look at it. Like, I, I'm, the only thing I can remember is you walked out of this Wolf of Wall Street. Oh my God, walked <laughs> out of it. Couldn't do it. I was like, this movie's so messed up. <laughs> I love it was, the movie. It was tripping. It, like, that's, I think I've walked out of only two movies before. And that was one of them. Wolf of Wall Street. I was like, I'm gone. Like, yeah, I love I that movie. I can't watch this right now. I loved it. I still haven't finished it. <laughs> it, just, it was just so terrible. It's like it shows you the peril of human beings. Yeah. And you're just like, man, we suck. Like when your <laughs> mind gets – when your mind – it's not even us. Like no, we're, we're a great species. But when you – well, all right, again, back to the Zen. They call it obsession. So in Zen, if you get too overly obsessed with something, yeah. then that's not good. The mind is not the problem. Obsession is the problem. Because mm -hmm. when you obsess, it becomes negative. Yeah. Right? So, so like, I think that's what the movie is supposed to make you that's not like what you're saying. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. But it's like, it's the fact that I know that this is real. It's like, oh my God. Like, people can get so messed up and not even think about it. Right. I, I like the movie a lot. <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like Leo, so. Oh, yeah, Leo's sick. Especially when those, whenever he, like, has those, like, Dude, would you still like Leo if you found out that there was a bunch of sex scandals? It's not like I like Leo as a person. I like Leo as his acting, bro. That's what I'm saying. But do you still like Kevin Spacey's movies? Yeah, I like K-Pax. Talking about change. That's true. That's true. It only it only gets weird when people start to like uh, separate it. You know, they're like, "Oh, I can't, I can't watch that movie. I can't like it anymore because Kevin Spacey's a horrible person." It's like, <laughs> wah. Yeah, I I, I like just think character. of it as a job. That, that's. I mean, his character stuff. He's not going to make. He's not going to be able to. I think they, they, they cancel Netflix show because of yeah. that, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. no. Allegedly, right. they said or they, they were knew gonna something was going to happen. I think they're like, "Oh, we we're going to cancel it anyways. We're just canceling it. That's all that's happening." <laughs> it's like, I did, that's PR, bro. That's yeah, 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 PR yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah. So who does? I mean, I don't know what he's going to be able to do next. But like, I like his stuff. He's going to freaking. You know what he's going to do? He's going to repent and he's going to become a pastor. <laughs> Yo, watch. Could you imagine that? That's the only way you're getting out of this one. Your yeah, career's yeah, yeah, ruined yeah, yeah. and you're you like. Gotta, yeah, that's you true. You know what I mean? 
That's true. There, there <laughs> I, is a way to yo, come back. Yo, yo, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, Kevin Spacey, if you're listening to this right now, please hire me as your PR guy because I just came up with your solution. You just got to repent <laughs> and you got to become a pastor because most people in America are <laughs> reborn. Are, yeah, exactly. I was reborn. What do you call I'm those people? Like, born again Christian. Christians. Born again yeah, Christians. Yeah. So just become a born again. Just be like, you know what? I see the error of my ways. I will never do this again. Yeah. I'll just I'll perform some community service. <laughs> I'll tell people not to do what I did. There is a way out. There is a way out. Yeah. Little do they know that that's actually the perfect position for him. He's like, oh, I'm pastor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of it. Oh my god. <laughs> See, Kevin Spacey, you gotta hire me. I got you. I got you double back right there. I got your reputations good, and I got you at the next level of like. Getting your freak on. You oh, no, I'm just kidding. Don't that's, do that. No, it's nah, that's terrible. So bad. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just so bad. But uh, so, you know what's weird? How actors, um, certain ones, they'll play the exact same freaking character every time, and you're just like wowed each time. My sister was like, oh man, this is so hilarious. She's like, oh, have you seen Two of the Bone? She's like, oh my God, Keanu Reeves was so good in that. I was like, <laughs> Keanu Reeves act like the same goddamn person every single time. So you know? I think what, what happened. Okay, about? yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know if it's necessarily the actor's fault or the people... Typecast? Y- yeah, it's like once you get and they see you do only this one role and then you're like stuck No, in no, 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 it's, it's not that. No, 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 no. Uh, no, because it wasn't a Matrix role. Like he wasn't like... <laughs> it wasn't like that. No, no, I mean no. like after Matrix, there's nothing else that he could do. No, 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 but I mean his acting style. You know what I mean? So he's like, he's always like, yeah. I'm... No, I know, but I mean like that's why they get him because uh, like... Either either he's not a good actor and he can he's only do that. I don't think he's a good actor. And I I think that's that's no, 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 tr- no. true for him. But there's some other actors that uh that can't get any other roles. True. Uh, yeah, he's for sure, for sure, for sure. Because they only think of him that way. For sure, for sure. He, uh, like a uh, freaking um, uh, Legolas, always an archer. <laughs> he's freaking what's his name? Orlando Bloom. <laughs> Orlando Bloom. Yeah. He was a freaking arch, except for in Pirates. He was a sword sword slinger, but uh, in the after. Oh, what was that freaking movie? Uh, Lord of the Rings. He became... Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that? Oh, uh, Troy. So from Lord of the Rings, he was an archer. And then Troy, he became a freaking... Another archer. He was Patrick... No, not Patrick. He's, he was uh, Peleus. Oh, in Troy? Troy, yeah. And then he, he's the one who shot freaking Achilles. There's another actor that's like so freaking the exact same person every single time. Uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> he's just so good like, as Brantley would say he's so good looking in every role that's all he does like Brad you want this role just be good looking he's like done done and done <laughs> yeah I mean but he does get different roles though so yeah but like his acting never changes it doesn't matter what though like alright so if you if you consider it yeah or like roles, they design the character so that he gets easier for him to act at I, I guess I guess act but if, if you're if you're talking different roles so like in, so who's in good To the Bone yeah. in To the Bone he was a psychologist Right. Right. And then he still in, the but, but but then in John Wick he was the killer. So it's completely different roles, but it's the exact same actress. But the like, same okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Know, so that's what know. I'm saying. Yeah. It's like I don't know, it's so weird, yeah. It's the same goddamn person. Yeah. Like just put a suit on him. Oh John Wick is like helping me. Is he gonna kill me? Like you know what I mean? Like is he gonna <laughs> right, give me advice right. or kill me? I don't really know. <laughs> or maybe he's secretly John Wick still, but his day job is that he's this uh this, uh, so who freaking, does that dude that has, that has who's a good actor yeah, that has different kinds oh, of roles oh that's hard bro uh, Leo's kind of good I don't know I still see him do I, those I, yelling yeah, I scenes yeah, and yeah, I yeah, like yeah, those yeah. yelling scenes like when he's Cruise, angry Tom Cruise has always got the running the scenes. running yeah. scenes <laughs> Yo, no, I, think, I think that's part of his contract though um, I'm exercising a lot y'all I need to do <laughs> running in this movie no no I, I, I think really? that's probably part of it oh no no I, I got a good one Will Smith Okay. Yeah, he's a good he's yeah, a good he's adaptable good. actor. Yeah. Muhammad he's, Ali. He's always good at crying though. Yeah, that's, that's true. Those yeah, crying yeah, yeah, scenes yeah. are awesome. That's true. His son's pretty good too. Runs in the family. Well, yeah, you can learn from him as dad. For sure, for sure. But uh, his so he played uh, uh, freaking Muhammad Ali. He played. Uh, yeah, I like Will Smith. Will Smith. He played like uh, freaking I Am Legend. That was those yeah. are two different roles. Then he played uh, the freaking concussion guy. That's another different role. Ooh, yeah. Then he played the gay oh, yeah, guy. Oh yeah, he was like, a, like Af- the African yeah. The voice. And then and he played yeah. the gay guy in Philadelphia. Oh, I did not see that. Then he one. played Bad Boys. He played like a oh, little ghetto. Then he played freaking MIB, but Bad Boys and MIB were kind of similar. 
So yeah, you know what I mean? Like I think that's the next one that he's coming out with on the Netflix is kind of like Bad Boys, but with like monsters like orcs and stuff i don't know oh that's kind of cool kind of it's kind of interesting for him i've never seen him do that kind of movie though right actually i would you know i would say kevin spacey also uh plays very good he's a very adaptable actor mm-hmm. you know like he can play like uh he can play like mentally challenged people really well like uh in that the freaking un- unusual suspects. Oh yeah, he like. Oh yeah. Remember yeah, yeah. that was just so yeah. good in that. And then it turned out like spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, Kevin Spacey's <laughs> actually the bad guy. <laughs> that was so sick because he's like he's like uh, the special ed guy, and you're like oh like that's he's not he's not guilty, and then like turns out he's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't he get away, or did he get? Yeah, he got, he got, he got away, away right away. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Do you think they make movies as good as they used to? Like you know in like. Do you think movies are getting better? Right, special effects aside, are stories in movies getting better? Are like, Unusual Suspects was sick. Like, what's a movie that... Like, our Matrix, amazing. Mm-hmm. Kill Bill, amazing. Like, what movies are coming out that you're like, damn, this is a legend movie? Legend movie. Where it's like, this is going to surpass the test of time. Again, you don't know until the time comes when there, you see that it has. Yeah, that's true. How do you know? Well, I hear uh, that movie that's out now. It's called uh, The Cure for Wellness. I heard that's going to be a cult classic. I haven't watched it. Like the oh, opening scene for you watched it. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it was good. It's I saw like good. I was going through my dentist fear at that time, so I couldn't watch like the teeth scene. Oh, did he get teeth? I didn't know out? anything what the movie was going to be like. You didn't I knew know about. Gonna break, right? I knew it was going to be a little weird, but it's like I didn't I was gonna know break, right? what's going to be in okay. this movie. Can, yeah. can you like? All right, if you're if you haven't seen this movie. Like do, do not Netflix. listen. Yeah, go watch Netflix. Pause right now and then go watch Netflix. Vish, tell me what it's about because I need to hear the story. If if it's worth watching, I'll watch it. But if it's like it's more like a horror thriller kind okay, of. Okay, so like story's crap. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, story's crap. It's not like anything crazy. <laughs> it's just like what can we get away with? It was like Saw when it first came out. It's like all right, what's the stupidest story? All right, people get caught. And they get tortured. Hey, and they made six movies for the making sign with one now. Yeah, yo, you know France? Uh, France <laughs> freaking puked. No, he didn't puke. What? No, no, he didn't puke. He, uh, we were in the theater, me and Jono, and they were watching Saw. And then France had to turn it. Like they, there was this one scene where like they broke open the skull, <laughs> and then they were like they were like surgerying it. It's yeah, not yeah. a word, but they were like performing surgery on it. And then uh, he turned away and like looked at his seat. He just like he was like giving himself a mantra or something. He was just like stop, stop, stop. stop. Oh wow! Oh no, my no, god! I'm just kidding. No. Oh my god! That was so next level. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. Um, yo, what if? What if? What if you met a like a quote crazy unquote person, like a person dealing with like mental stuff, where oh. they're like they're like you know those people in the movies where they like, bobbing back and forth and they're just like they're saying stuff to each other themselves. Yeah. What if you're just you look at them? If you were like a spiritual person, you're like, oh, they're just performing a mantra. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like no, chill out, everyone. That's true. You know, he's just going death, 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 death. But it's like, yeah, let's just calm mm-hmm. him down, you know? Like, man, <laughs> you don't know what it's like to be him. We need to chill out. Yeah, you don't know. Honestly, I think it'd be really cool to, like, I don't know if I want to do this, but, like, my sister worked in the psych ward, like, we talked about before. But, like, I would love to actually visit one of the psych wards and talk to those kinds of people. It'd be so interesting. I've met, like, a schizophrenic person before, and that was, like, talking to, like, a child, which is very interesting. Mm-hmm. It's, like, because they're very, like, innocent and easy to set off, so I just, like, treated them, like, how I treat children. Like, I'm very good with kids, so it's, like, you just, like, you just, like, direct their attention, basically. Yeah. Like, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? You know? But, like, it would be interesting to meet somebody who's, like, actually clinically, like, insane. Like, a freaking Hannibal Lecter. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd love to meet somebody like that. Could you imagine? That would be crazy. Like they're like, like I can tell that this, this, and this. I think like, what's a uh, it just reminds me. You should people should watch a Mind Hunter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was gonna say. Did actually, your sister watch it? No, no, she hasn't seen it. But uh-huh. I was gonna say like mentalism. Uh, Hannibal Lecter is just a mentalist. Like when he talks about like, yeah. oh, you did this and you did this. That's a mentalist trick, a magician. Mm-hmm. You know, I've had that pulled on me before. It's very interesting because they're like, they're like, oh, you're um, you're a very sporty person. Let me guess, you ride a BMX bike. And I was like, what the hell did you know, yo? <laughs> and then the magician who told me was like, oh, like you have a scar on your hand and you're pretty athletic looking, so I'm assuming that you bike. Right. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, you led me down the path. Like, you read me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's... They're not clairvoyant, you know? No. That's the, that was the trick. 
Yeah, exactly. The thing I like about magicians is that they'll readily admit that they're tricking you. Well, we know if they call themselves a magician that they are. Yeah, exactly, already, exactly. But they're, they're not know. like, they're like, I'll do some crazy stuff, it'll freak you out, but I am in no way a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny though. That's how I actually like to teach. Like, I don't believe that you can actually teach spirituality or like martial arts or any of these things. Like, you can teach like martial arts techniques, mm -hmm. but like to be a real martial artist, you, I consider it, you should be a philosopher as well. Right. You know? yeah. It's like you you need to have the killing ability, but also the the mindset to control it. You know. So like, what I do when I teach is I always like, like sometimes it'll look freaking mystical, like. Uh, I'll be sparring with a stick and then I'll I'll like not flinch as the stick's like coming close to my face and then like I'll just strike them yeah. and then for, if you're like a spectator you're like oh my god this guy can read like <laughs> they can read the future you know what I mean like he's like in the matrix or something it's like no no I'm just I'm, I'll literally tell the person like no I'm just calm myself so I'm like observing you and I know that we have a, a specific amount of distance between mm. us and I'm just making myself look chill so that you freak out and you you attack me yeah, you know, and like they're like, oh, that makes sense. But how easily could I have become like a god? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I, it's, that's because I have four degrees. Yes, <laughs> you know, what I mean? like some BS like that. You know, it's like, what is the title, anyways? You know, they're all just jokes. It's like, yeah, more separation. More, yeah. Uh... And good ways to con people. But I mean, like, it's cool too, because like, if you have higher degrees, you're able to like charge more. So, like, commercially it's good, mm -hmm. you know? Because you're like, oh, you want private classes with a master? But it'll cost you $200. But that guy's like 20 bucks an hour. Yeah, but he's just a black belt. I'm a master. You know what I mean? It's like BS like that. But that's also why I don't charge for my classes. But uh, don't ask me for classes if, you, oh. <laughs> if you're thinking about Like, oh, he doesn't charge? All right, cool. But yeah. yeah spir <laughs> spirituality is like a slippery slope. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I... I just uh, did the internet. I learned from the internet. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I just the internet. Yeah, everything is on the internet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. spirituality. Yeah, yeah. But you know what's funny? I, I actually pair, like it's, it's kind of a paradox, but I pair marketing with spirituality because marketing and spirituality are complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. But you know what's funny? Some dude told me he's like, he was like, oh, you're such a Libra. I'm like, oh, what do you mean? Well, I was like, I know what you mean because like I've studied this stuff too. Like I love. I love zodiac signs, and I know you don't believe in zodiac signs, but I think that there is like some, some like patterns going on in life, you know. Like there's like a similar freaking. It's like the Fibonacci spiral, you know. Like in in nature, you'll see the Fibonacci spiral, right? It's like a natural occurrence. Mm -hmm. So I think that the zodiac sign is just a natural occurrence, just like the Fibonacci spiral. So this person was like, "Oh, you're such a Z uh, Libra." I'm like, "Oh, why do you say that? Like, because you you, want, you like everything so balanced and even." But then now saying it, it's like it's kind of funny that um, I I did two opposing things, which is marketing and spirituality. Like they can't go together, you know, because right. they're so con like one is using spirituality to make money, and one is like mm -hmm. charging no money because it's spiritual. You know yeah, 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 right. Which is kind of funny because now we have like things like the Yoga Alliance, which I'm certified in, by the way. Please sponsor me if you listen to this podcast and you like what you hear. Yoga Alliance, give me some money. <laughs> we, you know what I mean? It's, it's funny because like back in India, there was no like Yoga Alliance. There's no yoga teacher. It's the Western right? addition to it. <laughs> For sure. Like, uh, did you see any yoga stuff? Actually, I remember your dad was saying this to me. We were in the car driving up to, to our apartment and he was saying something about like, oh, you do yoga. To be you know, like, yeah, you know, like, but in, I know in his head he's thinking like the Western yoga because I'm sure like he has some sort of like Indian, like, you know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what he thinks about yoga. But like, what is your, what is your experience with yoga? Because you grew up in India as well, right? Well, not really grew not up. Really. Like, you had a couple of years there. You've been back a few times. Like, is yoga prevalent there? Uh... Like is what I'm saying is is it respected to be a yoga teacher in India? I I don't know. I don't hang around that kind of crowd. Like you've never asked you oh okay, you've never heard anything about it? No, I don't talk about yoga. Alright, so there you go. I just know that of yoga. So you know it's something that they do in India. Yeah. So there there's a there's a clear example. It's like over here you're like, Oh you're a yoga teacher. Oh that's so enlightening. Yeah, 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 right. You right, know what right. I mean? But over there it's like I didn't even know. But hear there's about a perception yoga. of what it means there. Exactly. It's just like a normal thing. It's like uh Oh, it's like, oh, that's cool. It's you, probably in, you do like, push-ups. I, I don't think everyone does it, but it's like, yeah, it's kind of like that. You know, it's like, you know, like, oh, you exercise. That's cool. 
You yeah. know, what I, mean? like, I go to the gym. Yeah, <laughs> you do yoga, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, but, but it, I don't. I wonder if it's changed now, though. Oh, for sure. Like Westernization, they want money. Blah blah blah. The Beatles totally brought that up because they're the ones who brought up like yoga in the first. Like, oh, we went to India and we became enlightened. Yeah, but then it stopped for a while, though. For Most sure, yeah, for sure. Gone. And then somebody decided they could make money off of it. So booyah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, but it's funny because like with martial arts and stuff, right? People over here, they're like, oh my god, you're like a master. Oh, you're like this martial arts, blah blah blah. Right? I guess because like the UFC is like a big thing, right? So everyone's like, oh man, you're a martial artist. Oh, you're black belt. That's so right. crazy, blah blah blah. But like in in Asian cultures, it's actually not that. It's actually negative if you are a martial artist mm -hmm. because they're like, oh, you're just a bum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like literally, if you spend your time teaching martial arts, they're like, oh, you just couldn't do anything better with your life. They don't see mm -hmm. it as like a glorified thing, whereas here it's very like highly looked upon. Right. You know, like I know in uh, in Japan, they're like, well, before I don't know about now, but like uh, being a martial artist was good, but it was like a hobby. It's like something you did on the side because like during the day you have to like work at the bank. You, know? yeah. you need to like probably make a get... living. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You got to make a living. You know. But nowadays, like, people can own studios, they can be a yoga teacher, they can, like, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, is that even really spiritual if you're just making, like, hordes of money off of it? Like, mm -hmm. is, is it spiritual if you preach non-materialism, non but then you charge so much money? Right, right, right. You know right, what I mean? That's, like, that's kind of antithetical. It's like the fake gurus. Like, fake gurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. It's like Kumari, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kumar, uh, that, was, Kumar. that was a great doc. If anyone wants yeah, to, like, yeah. see a good doc, Kumari was sick. Because, yeah. like, they took, like, a vice guy, and then he acted like a guru. He just, like, made was some he had BS vice up. Before, before that? Or maybe he's, like, I think it was that's what got him on a vice. Maybe. And then he just did some, like, <laughs> fake... He just did some, like, yoga as a kid, and then he just made up some, like, mantras that, like... And then people, like, <laughs> yeah, they changed awesome. their lives. <laughs> yeah, it was so amazing, because it was... And then he was going, like, kumare, kumare, kumare. Just how easily you can fool people. Yeah, exactly. It's all mentality, bro. But I think that was the, the true genius. Like, they're like, oh, he's not a spiritual person, but it's like, no... In order to do something like that, you had to be highly spiritual because you were knowledgeable enough to know that it's all in your head. Dude, I'll, well, I'm he, telling you, yeah. it's, it, it's Zen, bro. Like, on, my, my whole thing right now is like, all right, yoga was cool. It was a good foundation, but Zen is the real truth. Like, mm -hmm. not true. I mean, like, whatever truth is to you. But for me, Zen is the most uh, impactful and practical because they say that it's like, it's like, learn the way to realize that the way isn't correct. You know what I mean? You're like, wait, but I spent my whole time learning the truth. But then even the truth that you believe is not the truth. It's like, oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. Because, like, it's all in your head, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course. But, I mean, like, without the mind, we wouldn't have amazing things like technology and stuff. So. Nope. You wouldn't even have, like, you know people are like, oh, I want world peace. I want to share resources. It's like, then you don't obviously, like, uh, freaking progress because do you know what made do you all right if you're listening to this right now here's a question for you what like if you if you're a person you're listening to this and you you believe in world peace ask yourself this how did we get to where we are the answer through <laughs> competing for resources <laughs> yeah but competing is not world peace because in peace you want everything to be equanimous. Uh, equanimitous. It's not. Yeah, it's not in nature to be in peace. Yeah, exactly. It's all. It's always about creation and destruction, and sustenance. Yeah. Vishnu, Shiva, and Brahma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The the tr the trilogy. The trilogy. The see, do, do you see how just because I said it like that, people are gonna be like, "Oh my god, he knows some stuff I don't know." It's like, come on, bro. I just <laughs> I said it in English, and then I said it in a spiritual way to make you think that I'm a spiritual person. So there's another similarity with the, the trio. What? That's in also. In, was it the Father, the Holy Ghost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, the freaking uh, Holy Trinity. Yeah. God the Father, God the Son, from. God the Holy Ghost. That's where it's from. Yeah, ex exactly. Another similarity. And actually, that's so funny that you're talking about, like, I was playing the Uncharted today and I was saying, I was talking about duality, because, like, they're talking about trinities in there as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, perfect timing. Uh, see, all right, all right, pause. When I said perfect timing, it's funny how people will be like, it's it's a sign. <laughs> you yeah. know, like, come on, no, it just <laughs> happened, and it so happened to happen again. Yeah. Like, you're just taking it way too far. It's like, uh, there, that? Uh, what did they the say? We, tells me. Yeah, yeah, we, it's something that's it's in science, too. Uh, we, Pareidolia? I don't, I don't know That's my favorite that word, word right now uh, but uh, it's like we there's so many things that happen that are non 
coincidental yeah, yeah. that we don't remember those points. But when it is coincidental, we remember that. Yeah. So like, Freaking. but the the rate of that happening is very like it's not at um, doesn't mean there's anything to it. Yeah, it's a, it's a justification bias. It's yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? I just I just bullshit that fucking word. Okay. <laughs> and you're like, see, see again. You just you just gotta make it sound like it's very fucking smart. So like justification bias, you're like, yeah, yeah, it's justification. Like yeah, that's I don't not know, real. you read books. No, no, I know, no, no. But see, see, I read books. It's a perception. No, I'm just yeah, I'm just know, playing I, with I you. No, no, no. It's a I I just I love when people think a certain way and don't realize that you could totally be played. Like me being like, yeah, justification bias. Yeah, that's why you should re- do your own research. <laughs> for sure and you should understand that everything people no, like the world this is uh freaking steve jobs the world is made up of people who are no smarter than you yeah and then my add to that is we're some of us are just better at bullshitting yeah right i just pulled it sorry you're saying about like yeah um the justification bias i don't know about like how uh how things that we we, we disregard things that do not fit our um Hypotheses. Uh, that's actually a term I just made up justification bias because I can remember it. But it's I know there like, is something too. It's called like know what it was. answering or like, oh, like your solution. Something, so something about anyways. Some but bias so or something. Par- pareidolia is very similar to that. It's uh, when you you see a pattern and your mind makes meaning out of it. So it's like yeah, yeah that's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's why I said exactly pareidolia. I knew exactly what you're going for. So it's like yeah, pareidolia. So like. In that, it's like, oh look, we both, we both like justification bias. <laughs> yeah. right. So like, it's it's funny because it's like, it's like, oh yeah, I just watched that in the video game, and then Vish brought it up. It we're we're synchronous with our life. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, it's <laughs> just something that you were thinking about, bro. Mm-hmm. And it naturally went, anyways. So um, yeah, threes. So uh, duality, mm-hmm. the triangle. Um, it has three points, and it's funny because like, the triangle in mathematics is a symbol for change. Is that coincidental? Or did they make it happen? I don't know. It could be coincidental or it could be... But it's, it's a symbol for change. Oh, just, yeah. And it's kind of funny because it's like, you know, everything in threes. I wonder why three is the magic number. I don't know. Why not five? Why not four? Seven is. Because Se- uh, seven is a prime number. Sure. It cannot be divisible. Mm-hmm. It's not divisible or something. Three is also a prime number. Mm-hmm. But why is three so important? That's just... Like, I don't get it. Uh, it's like uh, I don't know the skies, the land, the water. I don't know. And oceans. everything sounds good in threes. You know what I mean? Like we've just been we've been like programmed in threes. If you read any of my or like if you're listening to this and you read any of my yeah, articles, we make movies trilogies. Exactly make, trilogies. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, except for Star Wars, which is like not. It was a trilogy. No, no, no it's, it's, it's still like a trilogy. A six trilogy. No, 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 it's still a trilogy. They're, each of them were trilogies of their own. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. And then this next one's going to be a trilogy again. As well. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, so it's like a... They're it's, different stories. It's a divisible of the three. Yeah, I get what you're saying. They are trilogies. So, like, it, it's interesting because, like, if you read, like, anything I've written, I actually use that trick. So every time I'm, I'm giving you a list, it's, it's typically in threes because mm-hmm. it makes it seem like the justification's correct. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. It's all just manipulation and BS. Oh, that's kind of cool. You spray painted. You, you know what I think? I I think I think it's like this. If you agree with what I'm saying and you want to support, give me money, right? But if you think that I'm a god, if you think I'm in any way more special than you and you want to give me money because you think I have the answer to something, don't give me the money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Like I think I think that's mm-hmm. how you avoid. That's what I'm saying. That's uh, that's how I think you avoid tainting the spirituality. You know, right. because like it's like if you honestly think I'm better than you, then you should keep your money because mm-hmm. I'm not going to be a false guru to you. But if you just want to support and you like what it is I'm doing, right. then give me some money. You know, because mm-hmm. in that way, it's just supporting me on my journey, but realizing I'm just being supported. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. I, I guess I get like robbed the wrong way, having been in a couple cults myself. <laughs> so, so I know what I it's know. like. Well, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 so I have like a, I have like a, uh, not a soft spot, but I have like a sore spot for freaking cultish behavior. Cause it's like, come on, maybe. But again, that's that's what the guy said to me. He's like, oh, you're such a Libra. I'm like, oh, why? Cause you don't like cultish, like you don't like being superior to anyone else, right? 
but that's a lie because I actually do. That's why I'm asking for money. Oh. But I want to. But I want to. No. But it's like it's an equal superiority. It's like <laughs> no, no, just sharing now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Share in the world. Actually, that's not even correct because then how could you make amazing Apple products? No, I know. I'm just kidding. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of weird. I, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'd be fully happy if Apple kept all their money in order to keep progressing their amazingness and I just didn't like if I just had enough to like live and be happy like I hear 70,000 a year is like the optimal zone like if you make 70,000 like no if you make 75 75 if you make anything over 75 you can't tell the difference right but I mean like is that really true though because I mean what like what if I want my house to be like all glass all bulletproof glass and floating above the freaking clouds. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that's not that's not seventy five thousand dollars worth. You know, nope. you can't really power that. No. Nope. I wonder yeah. who made that study. The whole seventy five thousand dollars. You know who made the study? The person who got millions and millions of dollars off that study. <laughs> like yeah, seventy five thousand. I think this yeah. is the right number. Yeah, exactly. He's like, do I feel anything? Give me another million. Let, let me let me see. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's like I'll, I don't know. I'll feel it. I'll, I don't know. Give, give me another one. Yeah, I don't, I mean, feel, com- I don't feel comfortable yet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 But you, you know what? You know what oh, the no. interesting part is? It's like if you were asked yourself, like, all right, what? Like, because happiness is all about the pursuit. Wait, hold on. What time is it? You know? I don't Do know, man. Time? Jeez. I mean, I was supposed to make this a quick one because I had some like noodles. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Just uh. Say something cool into the camera. Uh, something cool. I don't know. Uh, May. I'm playing as May right now. Oh my god, May. Oh, headshot. Oh, I'm sleep turn. No. Oh my goodness. What? What were we doing? I was checking the time. All right, I'm back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so don't lie to them. Yeah. Well, what? Nothing. Don't lie. To them. I, I lie all the time. That's my job. Uh, yeah. No, I was just checking the time. Uh, oh. Yeah. I guess we'll we'll wrap here. Sure. Let me After get some, this match, maybe. Yeah. All right. Let me Let's get some final thoughts. So, what's your final thought? Uh, I got like I twenty know. messages. I'm like, oh my god! Like, oh no! You just pause for like a little bit, and the world <laughs> goes crazy. Oh. You know? I don't know. I don't get any messages. Does that make me sound important? Because my is my clients. Like oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Sure. oh I have, oh, I have clients. Oh. Could be spam. Ooh, look at me, I'm important. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, final thoughts. Final thoughts. What is my final thought? Uh, uh, if you're not using money, just give it to me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to use it for. I oh mean, no no no! I'm wait, wait sorry, sorry 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 my 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 um okay. my thing I was gonna we're say. Not, we're not done here. Uh, no, we're not done because I was thinking about this because now the money has come back. So um, if you had it's interesting when people think about it, it's like oh if you had all the money in the world what would you do i would buy this i would buy this but nothing was like nothing is like meaningful it's all in the pursuit of materialism yeah you know what i mean but if you so i was thinking about this if you had all your food and your shelter covered the last thing left is meaning and purpose in life mm-hmm. right because it's like well what would you do because honestly what i'm doing right now is like I've got enough to cover my food and shelter, so everything I'm doing is like is in pursuit of my own meaning and purpose. Anything other than that is like icing on the cake, because like right. if you're just pursuing material wealth, it's like that's that's not a very like long like that's sustainable for like what you're just waiting on other people to create inventions for you. Yeah, you know, and then what do you what kind of life is that? You're just like living. It's an awesome life. I I guess, but is Short it really? Life, but it's an awesome. Life. I, if if I if I were gonna live like that, I'd want to like go hard and just die early. You know what I mean? Like, I, you wouldn't want to live till you're like eighty. So what would you do? I don't know. I don't know what that means. So like, like there's so many like there's so many airplane rides you can take. There's so many video games you can play. There's so many. You know what I mean? Like, you're gonna end up finding something that you want to do. I believe. Oh, so what do you mean? So you, wait, what? Like if, if your food and shelter are covered, okay, then what you really strive towards is meaning and purpose. So all the people that say like, oh, I want like, okay. if you had unlimited money, what would you do? And it's all materialism. It's only because they haven't figured out something they want to do. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? 
So all right, I'll give you because so, you're like, oh, that'd be an awesome life, right? You say that, right? So because I know, I know you like to enjoy the comforts of like uh, modernized society. Yeah. Right. So okay, if you had unlimited money, would you not make this like even more sick? Make what? Like you'd get like more cameras, you'd get better mics. Oh. Would you stop doing like this streaming? No. That's what I'm saying. Because it's your meaning and purpose. You have like a mission. Even though you don't want to think of it like a mission, you have something to do. Okay. Right? So like, even- uh oh. Oh, there it is. They're telling right. us. It's okay. Telling right. us the end. That's what's up. I think because it's nine o'clock in the IQ game or HQ game is on or something like that. Oh, oh God. Yeah, so. Uh, Anyways, yeah. I guess we'll just. I'll uh, skip that one. Don't worry about it. Well, we'll just think about the fact that um, even though you would want to pursue things that would make your life more enjoyable, ultimately, um, it's all about freaking finding something that's worth living for, you know, and buying things is not something worth living for. You need something to do, I think. Uh, you don't, hey, you don't just, if you just buy things for the purpose of buying things, there's no use for them, then that's what I'm saying. That's the point. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, I don't know who does that. Like, no, no, no. But when people say, if like, oh, if I had unlimited money, what would you? That's what I always ask people. And they, would, I would buy this. But, but they, they don't know. It, it's just, it's just a hypothesis. Like what they would do? Yeah. No, no. But that just shows me that they don't, they haven't thought far enough into what it is they would want to do with their lives. Yeah, because they don't have time to do that. Because they're. If they had well, all the time money in the world, they have time to do that. Well, maybe. But because then they'd be bored. Huh? Yeah, then they'll figure something out to do. Yeah, that's true. So what So what you're saying is that people right now are just living a resource-based existence? Uh, some people are, yeah. <laughs> They're just uh, trying to survive. Yeah, that's true. And what, wait, wait. Is it trying to survive? Or what about the people that make lots of money and then they just go to the club and spend all their money? Um, trying yeah. to numb the pain for all the money that they made? Yeah. That's a shame. Just trying to have a good time. True, true, true. For like five minutes. <laughs> Until the next morning when you're hungover and you're like, ooh, that wasn't fun. Yeah, that's why I drink water. True, true. All right, well, uh, final thoughts now, now that the game's ended. That's perfect uh, timing. I thought I finished my thought and then it ended. Yeah. How do I get out of this now? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Good game. Good. What would you think of the new character? I didn't get to play her at all because oh. people kept taking her. Okay, she's all excited. I guess uh, next time, till next time, stay hungry, stay foolish. Yeah, it's, That's a, Steve it's a stolen say. line. Yeah, yeah Steve mm-hmm. Jobs would say that. Uh, he'd also say what that. What would uh, Elon Musk say? What would Elon, yo, we should get a bracelet that says, what would Elon Musk do? <laughs> okay. W-W-E-M-D. I think it's just, it would be well, probably not. better to say, just what would Elon do? W-W-E-D, wed. Well, wed. Okay. Well, Mm -hmm. (laughs) Wed. All right, right, look out for those coming soon to a store near you. What would Elon do? Till next time. Peace out. Peace. (laughs) All right, take it easy. Bye. Bye.